Merry Christmas! Welcome back. Welcome back. I have a little bit of a surprise. So for Christmas, my sweetie bought me a box of draft boosters. But we will not be opening this one just yet. I have special plans for that one. We will be opening up this one. Oh, wait. Sorry. That's a bundle. Bundle. Yes. And then, of course, maybe at some point later on, we will open up this one. Oh, wait. Sorry. That's a bundle. Yeah, but not today. Not today. Today we were opening up this one. You can hear the dice. The die. Sorry, the die. Oh. What is that? I never got one of these bundles, so. Recover these lost artifacts to survive the depths of Ixalan. Okay. That's interesting. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay, I win. Let's get my focus working. And while I don't use those, some people do, here is the wonderful spin down. I didn't get, I didn't have this one, so let's try 12. What is that? 20! Hey, got 20. Actual 20. Okay. Put that off to the side. And of course, you got your wax packs. This one has the Hit the Mother Load promo. And these are, of course, what is that? Okay, we're opening this. I thought it was just land, but evidently it's more than just land. What is that? Spitting Diflosaurus. Oh, nice boy. Nice boy. Nice dinosaur. As he dies. Okay. So that's our. our uh, Lost Caverns of Ixalan card, or I'm sorry, our uh, special card. I forgot what the name of it is. The Jurassic World cards. Okay, so let's open up this. Because if that's the promo, what is this? Maybe that's just the Lost Cap or Lost World Jurassic World card. Okay, so that's the promo bundle. Hit the mother load. Oh, these are the foil lands. Okay. Well, I got a slot for those. Eight wonderful packs. Set boosters. Not draft boosters, but set boosters. So as we know, going forward, they're going to be getting rid of the set and draft boosters and going to a play booster style, which I am... Uh, we kind of knew that was going to happen. I mean, we all knew it was going to eventually happen. That's the white god. That sounded wrong. Yeah, Ozier Talk, Deepest Foundation. Um, I mean, we all knew it was going to happen. We knew it was going to change. Once they brought out set boosters and people liked the set boosters because you could theoretically get more, on average, more rares or mythics, they knew that they were going to do this play boosters. That's why they seeded some of the packs with specialty cards. With the... Uh, what are they called? The the Transformers, the Jurassic Worlds. You had some that didn't have anything, and then you had some that had more. Issaquath, Firstborn of Gith. I'm probably going to put that one. Yeah, that's not uncommon. Probably going to put that one in my dinosaur deck and get rid of the original. Deepest Pilgrimage. I think our Deep Root Pilgrimage. I already got that one, like four of them. Family Reunion. All the rares. Okay. But I hope everyone's having a great Christmas. Christmas is the time to be around family. Ooh, yeah. I don't remember the name of that one. What's the name of this one? Eklazel. Yeah, okay, I can't pronounce that one. Oops. Let's switch these. Common, uncommon, and rares. Oh, Christmas is the time to be around family and friends. I w went to my my mom's house yesterday. We saw my brother and my wonderful princess niece. She is a princess. And I uh, got to see the family on that side. And then, of course, today is Christmas Day, so we're going to go and see the family on the sweetie side. Oh, there you go. 
Pantalaza. I can't pronounce that either. Sun favored. I'm going to put him in my dinosaur deck. And in the battlefield under your control, you may discover X for X is the creature's toughness. Do this only once each turn. Okay. You are going in. Oh, hey, look. The Millennium Calendar. So we got two rares in the set booster. Millennium cal uh, Calendar is one that I will not be doing because it says if you have a thousand life, you win. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, basically sacrifice it and each opponent loses a thousand life. But you have to get so many counters on it. Sunfire Torch. And then, ooh, there we go. Brought back. That's our, uh, oh, I can't remember the name of it right now. We got three rares in that. It was our, every so often in a set booster, you get a list card. That's what it is, a list card. And I got a list card. Oh, look. I got a signatured or signed veto, right? Veto. I think that's veto. Veto. Yep. Veto. Signed veto. Okay. One of the awesome full art lands that you don't get enough of. We're just going to quickly go through the commons here. The Tali Favor. Good card, though. Final Strike. Captain Storm. Cosium Raider. Hoverstone Pilgrim. Gold Fury Strider. I don't think I have that one. I might. Uh, Kazalim Stone Tree. And then, oh, there you go. Ogier Pakterkapakatakal. I can't pronounce that one, but it's a mythic and she's a god. Okay. So we got a couple of mythics so far. The bat. You actually need that one. How many, how many foils? Or not a foils. Uh, one, two. Yeah, just two. We got two mythics so far. A god and a calendar. It's okay that the calendar works with the god, I think. I don't know. That's some bright art right there. The poison dart frog. Nurturing Basque. Dinotopian Aton or whatever. Relics roar. Um, so, New Year's Eve is around the corner. <clears throat> I unfortunately, most likely will not be getting the second off, so I will not be getting a three-day weekend. It kind of sucks. I was hoping for that. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. Once work picks up, once it can get it started stronger, I can get more days off. There you go. Nazkin Zill. Uh, Restless Ridgeline. I actually needed this land, so I'm not upset about it. Even though it's a man land, I don't care. And then Calamitous Caven is our foil. Ooh, what did we get there? The Nusfari Betrayer King. Another list card. Put the list cards together, foils together. So as you might have noticed, my last video, there was 14 packs, but I was only able to open 12 of them online. And that's because my phone decided that uh, I'm full. I'm turning off without giving me any kind of warning. Kind of sucked. Oh, well. Um, there you go. Hidden cataract. It's a foil though. Uh, so the last two packs were uneventful. Nothing really was in them. I'm sorry. I didn't get that online, but just so you know, they were uneventful. Um, I've, so I've gone through my phone and I've deleted so much stuff. Glimpse decor. Hey, spelunking. We needed this one. This is a good card. I'm going to keep that separate. Lure Keeper. Jade Seedstone. Jade Light Spelunker. Hey, if you're going to get one, you might as well get both of them, right? We'll put them both together. Uh, Methetic Dropped, which is the foil. Oh, crap. Um, so this video will be shorter. And, of course, every preceding video after this is going to be shorter than that one. It was like 22 minutes long. But my phone is getting full of stuff, and I've tried to go through it. It's a puppers. So we're going to just keep them short. Just keep them short for the time being. Now, what I'm doing, just so everybody knows who follows me, I'm going to be opening up this box of boosters. 
and I'm going to do them like three or four packs at a time just because uh, opening up the entire box with this phone is terrible. But also the price of the boosters has gotten to the point where it's not beneficial to open up uh, three packs or buy three packs at a time. It used to be you could get three for under 10 or three for 10. I remember back in the day, they were $1.90, $1.75 a pack and then $1.99 a pack. Now they're like four twenty-five, four fifty. That's a good card. So it's not beneficial to buy three of them at a time. Now it's just more worth it to buy, buy a whole box and break it up. Hey, it's Abuelo! 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 Ancestral Echo. And Echoing Deeps. That is not how you're supposed to pronounce that, but it's land. But yeah, Abuelo. And Echoing Deeps as a foil. Rare, that's cool. And then a crap card. Um, so yeah, with the, uh, the box, and I'll be doing this probably from now on. Buying, whoops, buying boxes instead of buying uh, individual packs just because money-wise, monetarily, it's not worth it to buy it by the pack. Even though theoretically, you know, as a small business owner, buying individual packs is more uh, beneficial for the, because their profit margin is larger. As a person that's buying to collect the cards, I don't care about your profits. I care about my money. Hurl into history. Octagon Landmark. Pakal, Thousand's Moon is our rare. How many times have we seen that one? And then Dominaton. Oh, and then we got Dina as another list card. She's not the greatest, but she's okay. Last pack, last pack for the video. We're going to open this one up, see how we do. Hope everybody had a great Christmas. Uh, I might open up another bundle before the end of the year and post it so keep stay tuned keep uh keep an eye out do do poison dart frog i love that cute little guy nurturing bristle back calamitous cave in scampering surveyor bat colony uh, Scythe Claw Raptor. This card did so much work in my dinosaur deck. Great card, great card. Can't talk about it enough. Squirming Emergence. That just looks gross, but it's an awesome card. And then we got Glorifying of Suffering. Glorifier of Suffering. And then that's it. We got a dinosaur. Ooh, I think I actually need that dinosaur card. Well, thanks for showing up. I hope you enjoyed the pack openings. If you need to see, if you have any questions, leave a comment down below. Leave me a thumbs up. Very much helps me out. And of course, invite a friend to also follow me. Uh, enjoy the rest of your Christmas.